Poverty Alleviation Fund, PAF, and its projects are designed to improve living conditions, livelihoods, and empowerment among the rural poor. Those projects and development activities are primarily targeted at groups that have traditionally been excluded by reasons of gender, ethnicity, caste, and location. Till June 2014, PAF has mobilized and made agreements with 24,000 community organizations, COs, for implementing various sub-projects. A wide range of income generating and community infrastructure activities have been demanded and supported based on the potentials of communities and opportunities available, such as availability of raw materials, resources, access to market, skills and traditional occupation. Those activities have directly benefited 650,000 households and have indirectly benefited additional 50,000 households. <laughs> तेरी उनको ही काम करते हैं। आइए तो हमने जिला बन देखियो, हमने गांव घर बन देखियो, चार हजार लगाने हैं, चार हजार हमारे जाड़ी पर जाल। पहले वंदा तो हमने देखी, फरक से सौर आइए। पहले वंदा पहले हमें मांग रहे खाने में गांव तेरे जानते हैं, बहने बास थे ना, खाने गास थे ना, ये पौरकोटी Project monitoring data, impact evaluation data, and field reports indicate a strong impact of various projects on improved living conditions, livelihoods, and empowerment with higher income, increased food availability and variety, increased access to assets, better housing, increased school enrollment of children, participation in meeting and local structures. According to a study conducted in 2010, income level has increased by 7 to 300 percent in some of the exemplary communities. Recent World Bank uh, independent study on impact has shown that in an average 31 percent of the beneficiaries has increased uh, consumption. And if you look uh, this statics into those uh, beneficiaries who have received uh, PAF funding for 19 months, uh, their consumption has been increased up to 49%. So this has shown very good result. As well as we are doing social assessment and we have revised uh, this social assessment in three years time and we have seen that uh, real income has also increased by 82%. Uh, further, uh, there are other independent studies also carried out by Office of the Auditor General. They are doing performance audit and also by the National Planning Commission. And those uh, studies also shown that uh, there are very positive uh, results uh, in the uh, PAF community. PAF has now revised the CO rollout plan to be funded under the second additional financing of the World Bank. Under this plan, 5,000 COs, which had been mobilized some time ago but are yet to receive funds, will be provided funds within the next two fiscal years. Among them, 1,859 have already been catered for within the current fiscal year. PAF has reviewed its coverage of COs per district and proposes to provide further support in districts that have fewer areas covered compared to similar districts. It is proposed that additional 791 COs will be formed in the existing districts and 2,190 COs in the new 15 districts. Out of the total investment of 13,118 million rupees made by PAF for community organizations, 67.2% has been invested in income generating activities. 27.7% in community infrastructure development, 3.2% in capacity development, and the remaining 1.9% in community organization management and monitoring activities. Coming years, uh, we are uh, providing priority to those uh, communities where 
they are already formed and they are having certain proposals and they are likely to do their activities so we will give priority to those uh, communities and also we are expanding on the areas where it is all uh, until it is not uh, covered so uh, we go in such type of rolling plant in the coming uh, three four years path follows six guiding principles while implementing its programs and projects targeted to the poor social inclusion demand driven transparency direct funding to community organizations of the poor and community institutional development a community organization formed by local partner organization with the support of path comprises 15 to 35 poor households in line with the basic principles of community based development approach these community organizations mobilize communities and carry out various activities related to income generation infrastructure development capacity development and institutional development in the evolving process community organizations are heading towards their institutional development for their sustainability it is uh... on a bar strategy to make community organization sustainable presently we are supporting um, path is supporting community organization capacity building providing small funds to operate small businesses uh, in the form of uh, revolving fund path uh, will not uh, may not be able to support the organizations forever so we want to make uh, them self sustainable able to perform their functions Uh, even without our support cooperatives is uh, uh, looked is one of the way to make them self sustainable if uh, community rise organizations make them make their uh, cooperatives then uh, the co- cooperatives uh, can manage uh, and monitor the uh, operation of uh, revolving fund in community organizations and also um, can provide additional supports to make them um, more able to run business and perform other functions based on field experiences path has also developed a concept paper on cooperatives which includes provisions on extending memberships exclusively to co members and giving them rights to maintain control over revolving funds path believes such initiatives should be demand driven and the community can consider any other model to institutionalize ceos such as converting them into cottage industries and micro enterprises among others only from poor families that uh, are not able to earn themselves for, uh, to uh, fulfill their needs uh, especially the food needs and um, in the cooperatives of uh, uh, community organizations uh, only the members of community organizations will be the members of those cooperatives and there is revolving fund um, with each and every community organizations after the formation of cooperatives also the revolving fund will be operated by the community organizations themselves so there is um, at least some amount in um, the account of community organizations that can help them to uh, perform uh, their functions to support uh, their members uh, to run small uh, productive works Uh, businesses after the formation of cooperatives may cover broad a- broader area and uh, additional resources can be mobilized by those cooperatives uh, so that uh, uh, cooperatives uh, those cooperatives will be more uh, resourceful uh, and uh, more capable to uh, provide uh, support to community organizations transforming ceos to cooperatives would serve the dual purpose of safeguarding the revolving funds and facilitating the ceos to scale up their activities hence strengthening their sustainability
PAF has made an agreement with the Directorate of Cooperatives that CEOs created with PAF support can be registered as multi-purpose cooperatives under the 1992 Cooperative Act. The first such cooperative was registered in Dhading district on April 17, 2014, with a bylaw approved by the cooperative office of the district. Since then, community institutionalization process is speeding up in some of the districts where communities have felt the need to unite themselves for certain functions. One of those organizations is a cooperative formed in Bilani of Sindhuri district. Vasheshwar Agricultural Cooperative was formed by the union of 14 community organizations. This cooperative has prioritized cattle insurance and income generation. The cooperative is dedicated at providing banking and insurance services to its stakeholders. These cooperatives uh, can invest only for their members. People who are not the members of those cooperatives cannot uh, take money from those cooperatives. Uh, similarly, um, cooperatives uh, may use their resources to develop infrastructures that are necessary to make their life more easier. Uh, so these are different uh, from uh, other uh, saving and credit institutions, cooperatives. These cooperatives um, uh, are uh, um, being established on the demand of community organization members themselves. So these cooperatives are different in um, nature from other types of cooperatives. Um, um, if uh, these cooperatives uh, become uh, uh, able uh, to fulfill uh, the objectives to run uh, community organizations uh, efficiently uh, and uh, uh, community organizations uh, become self-sustainable and this will be a new achievement in elevating poverty. PAF has also been imparting institutional development related trainings on accounting, revolving fund and savings credit management, leadership development and group management, public audit, institutional model to the concerned CO members. PATH is also planning to support the newly formed cooperatives for their capacity development. Such support would include training on organizational strengthening and financial management aspects, as well as facilitation for business development. I'm really a लगानि गर्न सक्ने एउटा संस्था खोल्न सक्नु चाहिँ त्यसको अपेक्षा राखेका छौ र कोसिस पनि गर्ने छौ हामीलाई चाहिँ अलिकति कठिनाइ पनि भएको छ हाम्रो बासेश्वर गाबी सम्मै चाहिँ शाखा कार्यालय स्थापना गरेर हामी चाहिँ यहीबाट परिचय हामी निरन्तरता दिगो र निरन्तरता गर्न कोसिस गरेका छौ पहिला यहाँ 10 वटा सामुदायिक संस्था बनाउने दौडानमा चाहिँ संस्था बनाइयो भने एला दिगो विकास कसरी गर्ने भनेर चाहिँ हामीले एउटा सञ्जाल गर्नुयान कोषको कार्य निर्देशिका अनुसार सञ्जाल गठन गर्यौ त्यो सञ्जाललाई पनि अब हामीले अन्य सरकार निकाय छ समन्वय गरेर भोलि हामी कसरी बहिर्गमन हुने भने चाहिँ हामीले सहकारी बनायौ भने यदि घुम्ती कोषलाई नपुगे खण्डमा अन्य निकाय सँग पनि लिएर समन्वय गर्ने हामीले पनि एक जना बराबर 8 8 10000 सम्म शेयर खरीद गर्यौ Across the PAF program districts, a total of 106 multi-purpose cooperatives and 1,013 federations of community organizations have been formed, being driven by the needs felt by the communities. Informal network of CEOs are being established in every VDCs in the process of institutionalization. Various initiatives were taken to strengthen capacity of the community organizations and promote them to higher institutions. Manuals on revolving fund management and training were also developed and enforced to regulate works of revolving funds established at the community level. These community networks have also helped in leading infrastructure-related projects and establishment of cooperatives to manage production and markets. A cooperative named Hamro Bahudeshya Sahakari Sanstha, formed in Rasua, is operating milk collection and processing center. It has established a linkage of local farmers with the market. ये सहकारी संस्था को शेयर सदस्य बनाने आमले घर दोहिलो कार्यक्रम में संचालन कर रहे थे हम बड़ी जी आमिकी सान अर्गन पुगियों 
किसान को मैं घर दैलो कार्यक्रम ग्यौं इसको सदस्य भी बनऊ समूह में पड़े समस्या भी सहकार के समाधान करने रहकारी भाग समस्या समूह अवस्था तेज को समुदाय के समाधान करने वाले एट हम गरी निवारण ले संचालन कर समूह ये ढकाल डांडा आयोजन समूह सित जुड़े हूं in nagdha vdc of ramachab district 25 members from 20 community organizations have established manapathi savings and credit cooperative more members of the community organizations are being affiliated with the cooperative and are also involved in intensive economic activities सामुदायिक संस्था में नहीं चार पांच लाख रकम छैंक में राखना जाना दुईजना अथवा तीनजान नाम में खाता खोले ते तीनजान जाना तब पंद्रह सौ दुई हजार समय खर्च हो सहकारी संस्था में आएर बचत करना तिहार को खर्च होते हैं गाड़ी में आने पे धोबी को मानी आने पे पचास रुपये में आइं तीन हजार खर्च होने ठाव में डेढ़ सौ खर्च कर यहीं लियाने हम उद्देश्य Similarly, PAF has developed a format which enables CEOs to list the costs and revenues from the particular sub-project to project the economic benefits. With the help of projection from the current format, the CEO with the assistance from the partner organization PO should be able to submit a business plan for a time series of at least 2 and 5 years of implementation. This plan will help the CEOs set targets and channel the income generated into profitable use for business expansion and sustainability. Communities are when they are doing uh, income generating activities they have also established revolving fund at the community level so we are strengthening uh, those revolving fund uh, by developing the capacity of community organizations as well as we are linking Uh, these uh, revolving fund with the higher level institution uh, recently there are uh, they are developing into the cooperatives and we have also uh, made special provision in the cooperatives so that in those cooperatives uh, uh, paf ceo members uh, will become member and also they will look after uh, the revolving fund management at the community organization level revolving fund is still exist with the community organizations level but that will be overseen by the cooperative so that sort of agreement has also been made uh, so that their own higher level institution be established and uh, those cooperatives uh, at the higher level will oversee the revolving fund so those kind of uh, act, uh, arrangement also we are making in future and also uh, we are supporting uh, these activities with activity based uh, pocket area development so that uh, the need of the cooperatives need and will be felt by the community and the institution uh, will be uh, run in the sustained manner so these uh, things uh, now we are uh, doing in the coming years and also uh, that will form uh, exit strategy of the path as well because we are also doing uh, leveling of the community organizations uh, uh, we are also calling it co graduation uh, so we are leveling and then also uh, we are uh, we are providing inputs required from this assessment and then we will Uh, make them reach into such level that they can independently run in the uh, future recently paf has approved co graduation assessment guideline and a draft for activity based pocket area development a special priority is given by the paf for pocket area development this new program will support target areas of ongoing paf activities that are producing a specific product and show possibilities for scaling up and improved linkages to market paf has identified 20 pocket areas and capable partner organizations po that it proposes to start the activities in the coming fiscal year implementation guidelines and concept paper for development of cooperatives is also prepared government has directed us to formulate exit strategy of um, path we may find uh, different alternatives uh, for such a strategy we thought that uh, cooperative may be the best alternative is cooperatives are made by the poor people themselves so um, if uh, uh, we Uh, give the responsibility of managing resources to third party or the other organization then um, 
some resources spent uh, in the managing function. But if cooperative uh, community organization members themselves um, uh, form uh, their cooperatives and they themselves manage their resources, the resources uh, used most effectively, I think. Hence, institutional capacity development of COs is the major thrust of PATH. PATH has given utmost priority to capacity development of COs so that the community organizations can develop and determine their future independently. They should not be perpetually dependent on PATH and should be able to fulfill their needs by coordinating with organizations with mutual interests.